What do you see down there below you? Jungle. Jungle. As you come back down to the surface, tell me what's around you. There's a fallen tree. There's a fallen tree. There's vines. There's vines. I don't know which way to move. That's okay. Just tell me what your immediate surroundings are like. There's a weird flower. Oh yeah. It's uh it could be a weed. Okay. It's got purpley pink little buds on it. It's not perfect. Is it right there by you? Yeah. Yeah. Does it seem familiar? No. No. It's a new one. Yeah. yeah. Is the jungle very close to you? Are you in a clearing or are you is it very close? No, it's thick, I'm in it. You're in the thick thick of the jungle? What's the weather like today? It's morning, it's, it's a little cool. It's a little cool, okay. Are you able to feel or see the sun? Through the canopy. You can, just a little bit. Okay. Can you hear anything? No, it's quiet. And can, what can you smell? Moisture. Moisture. <clears throat> Are there any other beings around you? No, it's like I'm hunting. Oh. What are you hunting? I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. I want you to look down at your feet and tell me what you see. I'm small. You're small? The feet are small? Yeah. Oh. What colour are they? They're white. They're white. Okay. As you work up um, your form, do you have a body? I'm a boy. You're a boy? Okay. Is the body um, healthy? Yes. Yes. Are you wearing anything on the body? I can't see past my knees. That's okay. It will clear up as we speak. Do you know if you're carrying anything? I have a bow. You have a bow. And do you have arrows to go with the bow? Yes. Yeah. Where are they? One is flying. Oh, it's flying. Mm -hmm. You let one loose already? Mm -hmm. What's it flying towards? It's like the images on the arrow oh. flying through. Um, it looks, looks like a, a chimpanzee, but it's not. Okay. Can you describe it a bit to me? It lives in the trees, so it has monkey-like attributes. Right. But I just know it's not a monkey, it's mixed with a bear. Oh, interesting. Are there many of these around? No, there's just one. Just one? Is, it, is that what you're hunting? I think so. Yeah. Is there a reason you're hunting it? I'm hungry. You're hungry, so you'll eat it once you catch it? Mm -hmm. oh. Do you end up catching it? It wasn't a good shot. No. What happens after you shoot at it? He's angry. Oh. How can you tell? I hit him in the arm. Oh, but not enough, so it wounded it, but mm -hmm. not enough to kill it. How does it react? In disbelief. Oh. And how how do you feel about it? I need to sharpen my hunting skills. Oh, okay. So you use it as a learning opportunity? Mm-hmm. Okay. After you um miss, do you carry on hunting the same being? 
Oh, I have to retreat. You have to retreat. And where do you retreat to? A small dugout. A small dugout. Is this something that you have created? Yes. Yeah. Is it something you've created alone? Yes. Yeah. Do you have any uh, family or or any loved ones close by? No. No. I want you to go to the place that you live and tell me what that looks like. It's a village. Okay, can you describe it to me? We live in straw huts. Oh, tell me more. The doors are facing each other to the huts. Oh, so are they all facing a, a centre? Why is it? I don't know if it's for security or if it's for living arrangements. Okay. So tell me about the hut that you live in. It's round. Yeah. You're doing great. Is there anything else you want to tell me about the huts? <laughs> I'm Cambodian. <laughs> You're Cambodian? Yeah. Oh. Are there other people who live in the hut with you? His grandma. Grandma. And is she still functioning or? Yeah, she's laughing. She's laughing at you? Yeah. Why? It's her spirit. Oh. She's laughing not at me, but she's just laughing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, so she's in the hut with him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And does, do you share the hut with anyone else? No. Can you describe the interior to me, please? It's a dirt floor. Yeah. With straw lines inside and out. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly round. Mm -hmm. Grandma's in a chair. It's spacious. Is it? Do you cook inside the hut? Yes. Yeah. What kind of things do you eat? Meat. Meat. Anything else? Vegetables. Oh. Where do you get the vegetables from? I don't know. It looks like a turnip. Oh. Um, who does the cooking? Grandma. Grandma. Yeah. What else does she spend her day doing? She's knitting. She's knitting. What do you spend your days doing? Hunting. Hunting. Anything else? My role is to advance for my age. What do you mean? I'm, expect I'm expected to be by myself, hunting all day. Okay. Is that not not normally given to a someone in the in the village so young? I have to take care of my family. Oh, why? My parents are gone. Oh, how did they leave? I have no idea. You don't know. When did they leave? I don't remember them. Oh, so you just, you've always been alone with just you and your grandma? Yeah. Oh. Must be uh, quite a task to um, not only look after yourself as a young boy, but also look after your grandma too. Yeah. Are you responsible for any of the villagers? It's a collective. It's a collective. Okay. Does it have a leader? Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me about that person? <coughs> he's an old man. He's 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 fifty. Oh yeah. yeah. What else about him? He's got bad teeth, but he smiles. <laughs> Does he direct everyone in the village as to what they are supposed to do with their time? 
No, my villages are free. The, oh, you just you just live how you're supposed to live. Yeah. Yeah. Um. If you don't, if you aren't able to provide meat from your hunt, will the villagers help you? Yeah, they still meet on the fire. There is still meat on the fire, so you're not too worried. No. Okay. And then, do you have any friends in this village? There's other children. There are. Do they have the same responsibilities as you? I don't know. I'm just standing there watching them play. Oh. Do you ever play with them? No, I'm too busy hunting. You're too busy hunting. Did you ever get a chance to be uh, childlike? That you remember? I think that's part of it. I am a child. You are a child. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I want you to leave that scene. And let's move forward to an important day in the life we are currently looking at in Cambodia. A day that you consider to be important when something is happening. We have now moved forward to an important day. What is happening and what do you see? I'm putting a suit on. You're putting a suit on? Tell me more. It's a celebration. Oh. What's the celebration for? I think I'm a man. Oh. So it's a coming of age ceremony? Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you have to do anything for the ceremony? No. No. What kind of suit are you putting on? This ridiculous blue suit with a yellow tie. Oh. And is this still in the village? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what does the ceremony consist of? to go. Oh, you have to leave? Yeah. How do you feel about it? I'm unsure. Why? Because of the uncertainty I had. Oh, the not knowing? Sorry? The not knowing? Not knowing. Not knowing. Um, do you know where you're going? I think I'm going to the city. You are going to the city? Do you decide to go then, or do you have no choice? I have no choice. You have no choice. Who is making you go? I'm not sure. Do you have to wear the suit? Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that to, um help you fit in in the city yeah so y you end up leaving yeah how do you leave I don't know if it's a bus or a car okay but some mode of transportation yeah yeah and where's grandma at this time she's crying she's crying she's crying she's gone She's crying. Oh, she's crying. I'm sorry. She's sad to see you go. Yeah. What will happen to her? I don't know. Is there a reason you have to leave? Does everyone leave at this time? I think so. Oh, okay. Will there be someone to care for her when you're gone? The people of the village will really care for her. They will? Okay. So she won't, she won't be alone? No. No. But she's definitely sad to see you go. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you take this mode of transportation to the city and... 
How is that? How does it go? I'm just sitting there staring out the window. Yeah. Have you ever been on a in a vehicle before? No. No. So it's all new to you? Yeah. Yeah, it must be pretty scary. Is it a long way? Yeah, it's a long way. Does it take you hours or days? No, uh, it's a couple hours. A couple of hours. <laughs> and then when you get to the city, can you tell me what it looks like? It's busy. Yeah. What are the buildings like? Metal shanties. Okay. There's this one big building. Oh yeah. It's got nice ar architecture. Okay. Looks like it's made of sandstone. Okay. Where is that? In the middle of the city. In the middle. So that would be the, the city center? Yeah. Uh, do you know where you're headed? Went and talked to somebody. Oh. Do you know what about? No. Okay. Well, that will clear up as we speak. Um, did they give you any uh, anything to trade or any money? No. No, you just have to go speak to this person. Yes. Yeah. So let's go to where you find this person and tell me what happens. He's in the same suit. Is he? Yeah. So that's how you recognize him? He's sitting behind the desk. Oh, right. And how does the interaction go? He's got a can't be bothered with anything attitude. Really? And how's that feel to you? Not good. He's an old man. Oh. So he's not satisfied? No. Oh. What does he, uh, what kind of messages does he have for you? He's not saying anything. Isn't he? So what happens to you just on there? He just nods mm -hmm. and then I leave. Oh. And where do you go? Out the door to the right. Okay. And then? Where are you when you go out that door? Another wing of the building. Oh. And what do you do there? It's time to eat. You, you what, sorry? It's time to eat. It's time to eat? Oh, what do you eat? end up eating? couldn't tell you. That's okay. And once you finish that, um, do you have a plan of where to go? I have to make my bunk. Oh, are you going to stay in that building? Yeah. Oh. And then will you, what will you fill your time with while you're there in this place? Learning the rules. Oh. And what, what is the purpose of you being in this place? I don't know, I just turned a certain age. This is where I live. Oh, okay. Are there other beings in this place? Yeah. Yeah, can you tell me what they look like? They're other boys. Oh. Are they the same age as you? Yeah. Yeah. Are they all wearing different things or they're the same as you? Same thing. Oh. Are you there? Do you find out why you're there eventually? I think I'm there for school. You are there for school? So you, you're you going to be staying there? Yeah. So, but the um, the members of your village didn't explain this to you? No. So you just were sent off without any knowledge of what was happening and you just had to do as you were told? Yes. Um, and when you get there it's not very welcoming? No. Okay. And everything is scary and new? Yeah. Okay. Um, so there were lots of other boys there? Yeah. Does anyone talk to you? No, it's just chaos. It's just chaos, yeah. Do you um do you end up making any friends while you're there? I don't wanna be here. You don't wanna be there? That's fair. What does a typical day look like at the school? You wake up. Yeah. You make your bed. Yeah. 
straight in a room. Mm -hmm. It's not in a room, it's a... Uh, Dormitory? Yeah. Yeah. Put your things away. Mm -hmm. Get dressed. You're expected to eat. It's a single meal with soup and a ladle. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Of this food. Why? What about it? It looks like it looks like slop. Oh, is it? Is it not appealing? No. No. And how does it taste? It doesn't. It doesn't. It's just a nothing. Does it fill you up at all? Yeah. It does. Is it the same thing every day? Yeah. Yeah. Does it get quite uh, monotonous? Or are you thankful for it? How do you feel about the food? I run away. You run away? Yeah. Where do you go to? I live in the city. Oh. And then what happens? There's this boy crouched down, yeah. just staring at me. Yeah. He's wearing these, like, Blue volleyball shorts. Yeah. And a tank top. Okay. He's just looking at me. So I go and I talk to him. Okay. I don't speak Cambodian, I don't know what he's saying. That's okay. What's the general gist of his demeanor? He's nice. He's nice? Yeah. Yeah. What ends up happening? Teaches me how to throw dice. Oh yeah. And what does that enable you to do? Make money. Oh. So, is that what you end up doing? Yeah. Yeah. So now, do you, did you ever go back to the school? No. No. Are you, how do you feel about it? The school? Yeah, or, or being away from there. I'm glad to be away. You are. Was there anything else at the school that you didn't like? The conforming. Oh, having to do as you're told all the time? Yeah. Yeah. Was there ever any um, discipline? I wasn't there long enough. You weren't there long enough? How many? Were you only there a few days? A few days. Oh, and then you ran away straight away? Okay. Um, so you meet the boy on the street and he teaches you how to roll dice? And then that's how you make money to survive. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you live now? Where do you stay? I have a place. Yeah. Can you describe it to me? It's one of the metal shanties. Oh. There's you just a blanket on the floor. Just a blanket on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. That's some shelter at least, I guess. Yeah. Do you share it with anyone? No. Oh, you have it all to yourself? Yeah. It's not very big. No. Did you make it yourself? No. You just, how did you come about it? I more or less discovered it. Oh, fantastic. And you realised that no one was there? Yeah. So you could just take it over. So how do you spend your days now? I'm older now. Oh, tell me. I have a mustache. Oh, yeah. I steal for a living. You do? Is there any penalties for getting caught? Never been caught. You've never been caught, so you don't know? What kind of things do you steal? Food. Food. So it's just to survive? Yeah. Yeah. Is that because uh, it's hard to make money? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you still share the, you, do you still live in the shack alone? Do you still live in that place? 
No, there's a girl. There's a girl? What's she like? Innocent. Yeah. How did you meet? I just ran into her on the street. Oh. And um, so she lives with you now? She's there, but I don't know where she lives with me. Oh, okay. Do you have to provide for both of you now? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> um, is there electricity um, in the city? No. No. Um, how do people cook their food? Fire. On fire. Do you have a fire in your place or buy it? Buy it. Buy it. Um, do you cook? Yeah. Does she? I cook the meat. You cook the meat? And does she cook other things? Yes. Yeah. Um, will you guys are planning, are you planning on having a family with this woman? No. No. <clears throat> does she, how does she spend her days? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Now leave that scene. And let's move forward to an important day in the life in Cambodia that we are looking at. A day that you consider to be important when something is happening. We have now moved forward to an important day. What is happening and what do you see? I have two kids. You have two kids? Tell me about them. I have a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. What are they doing? Playing. Playing. They're still quite young. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Who did you have them with? The girl. The same girl? So you did end up having a family? Yeah. Yeah. And where do you guys live? A bigger shanty. But still a shanty? Yeah. Yeah. What's on the inside of the shanty? Beanbag chairs. Beanbag chairs? Is that what you guys sleep on? No, we sleep on a, uh, a rug. Oh, yeah. Do you all sleep together? Yeah. Yeah. And how are you providing for the family? I can't tell anyone. Oh, okay. Do you have enough to eat? Yes. Yeah. Do you... Do, would you say you're better off than when you lived in the first shanty? Yes. Yeah, but you don't know how the money comes in? Or the food comes in. I'm a colonel. You're a colonel? Did you join, you join the army? Did I join the army? What, you, you said you were a colonel? Criminal. Oh, criminal. Beg your pardon. Oh, so, you, so you're still sort of uh, providing <clears throat> by stealing or other means? Yes. Okay. How do you feel about it? That's fine. It's fine. Sounds good. Okay. Um, why is this day important? I'm happy. You're happy? You feel content? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's going well? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. And how is your, uh, how is the girl? Is she healthy? She's healthy. Yeah. Is she happy? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you spend your, what does she spend her days doing? Playing with the children. Playing with the children. Will the children go to school at all? They're not old enough. Pardon? They're not old enough. They're not old enough. Do you want them to when they are? Would you like them to go to school? I don't know if we have. No. Oh. Do you ever think about the village? The yeah. Year? Yeah. Have you ever been back? No. No. Would you like to? Never thought about it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. I want you to leave that scene and move forward to the last day in the life we are currently looking at in Cambodia. You can watch it as an observer if you want to. We've gone forward to the last day in the life, in the lifetime 
of your life in this lifetime we are currently watching. What is happening and what do you see? My son is getting married. Your son is getting married? I'm tying his bow. You're what, sorry? I'm tying his bow. You're tying his bow, yeah. He's a scholar. He is? Yeah. Tell me more about this. He's proud. Is he? Are you? Very. Yeah. Do you like his bride to be? He's happy. So that makes you happy. Yeah. What does he study? What do you see right now? Piano. Piano? Yeah. He's a musician. But he... He's famous, like he... Is he? He... He made his own way. Oh. He's proud, he's... Distinguished. Yeah. Yeah, um, do you still live in a shack? No. Where do you live now? We're in a mansion. You're in a mansion? Is that because of your son? I was able to pay for his education. Oh, hold well on. So it was partly you, and then... All him, partly me, all him. All him, yeah. So you, you have, uh, your whole family has risen in terms of uh, not being poor anymore? Yes. Yeah. And now your son is uh, accomplished and he's getting married? Yes. Yeah. So what happens during this day? There's lots of people. Yeah. I sit down beside my wife. Mm -hmm. And my son's walking down the aisle. It's very Anglo Christian. Oh, the ceremony? The whole building. Oh. Can you see right now? It's an orchestra. Wow. It's playing. Yeah. Yeah. Has a bride come down the aisle yet? They're at the altar together. They are. So they get married as we speak. Yeah. How does it feel? I feel accomplished. That's good. And then the ceremony is, is it over? Yeah, it's over. Okay. And then what happens?
I see. I see tanks. Oh. Tell me more. They're destroying the city. Oh, right after the wedding finishes? Yeah. Yeah. And then? That's it. <clears throat> now, whatever's happened has already happened, and you are on the other side of it. From that position, you can look back at the entire life and see it from a different perspective. Every life has a lesson and a purpose. As you look at that life, what did you learn from it? Make sure the next generation is okay. Make sure the next generation is okay. And what do you think was the purpose of that lifetime? I had to do bad to raise good. Mm -hmm. 